traffic patterns. Here's our runway. Standard traffic pattern has left turns. And when you fly a traffic pattern, you always fly a standard pattern unless otherwise instructed, unless it states it on a chart, or unless you are given specific directions from a tower to fly a right-hand pattern. Okay? So this first section until you make your first turn is called the upwind. <coughs> so the first one is the upwind leg. Then crosswind. This section right here is crosswind. So you have your upwind, your crosswind, your downwind, your base, and your final. It's not called departure. Pardon me? Some people call it that, but yeah. Call it upwind, departure, the leaving leg, but pretty much whatever you want to call it. We generally call it the upwind leg. <laughs> so if this is the leaving leg, what is this? The arriving leg. The arriving leg. Okay, we generally fly our upwind leg until we reach 600 AGL, roughly 600 feet AGL, before you make your uh, crosswind turn. Okay? Is that 600 stand or does it, or does it depend on the airport? Um, it kind of depends on the airport, but just 600 is just an average. All right. Where you make your turn from crosswind to downwind is roughly a 45 degree angle from the corner of the runway. All right. And if you're in a plane that climbs really, really, really lousy, you may have to make this turn a little bit sooner, okay, than 600 feet AGL. Because if you're getting really bad climb performance, you're going to be way out here before you make this turn. All right, so you don't want to get too far away from the runway. At a 45 degree angle, you make your turn to the downwind. You want to try and keep your pattern about a half a mile away from the runway. Somewhere between a quarter and a half. You want to stay pretty close to the runway. <coughs> traffic pattern altitude. The altitude at which you fly your traffic pattern is a thousand feet AGL. So when you're doing all of your climbing here, here, and probably still some into your downwind leg, once you reach a thousand feet AGL, level up. Okay? You're going to fly your downwind leg. We'll move this in just a little bit. Because you generally want to do about the same thing here. 45 degree angle where you make your base turn. And then on to final. <coughs> you will be taught when you do the flying portion where on your downwind you start your descent, but it's generally a beam the end of the runway. <clears throat> okay? We all good with this so far? Yep. Yeah? All right. Okay, this is now going to be an uncontrolled airport. Um, you know what, before we talk about that, let's discuss one other thing. The types of departures you can do. Straight out departure. <coughs> A 
crosswind departure. And a lot of times you'll see people do a straight out where they make a turn one direction or the other. A downwind departure. <coughs> and in this departure, in a downwind departure, you fly the pattern like you normally would, continue climbing. Let's say you reach 1,000 feet AGL right there. The only difference now is the fact that you do not level up. You just continue your climb and go. Okay? Is everybody okay? You guys are awful quiet. I'm huh? starting to get a little nervous up here. Notes. Field trip will clear. <laughs> we don't have anything to field trip to yet, Gordon. Or it's like field trip to the bar right down the street. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. I seem to remember, so I don't know if I saw it just too long ago. But we had a good downwind departure when we left, and we came up and we turned right to leave Gillespie. Yeah, because you took off on 27 right. Yeah, right. see, we have, par left pattern. we have parallel runways here. Oh, okay? so, left. so if you take off on the right and you do a left turn, you're going to fly right into traffic that's, that's on the left runway. Oh, right so on 27 right, we have a right hand pattern, 27 left to left hand pattern. Okay. You can get a left hand departure off of 27 right, but you have to have that approved by the tower. And they'll generally tell you when to make that turn because they want to make sure, you know, you're up. Two 152s aren't not a good thing. <laughs> 